Hey everybody, so I'm making uh, mallets today in my shop and I thought I'd kind of show you all a little bit of the process. Um, yeah, so here we go. So I had some polyurethane ordered in a place, uh, they're actually here in North Austin. And I build the mallets out of polyurethane rod. So what they do, polyurethane is kind of like a, a silicone type thing. And see, I'm getting this out of the freezer here. And it's, it's kind of soft. So this is in a three foot length rod here. And I put it in the freezer in order for it to, to be rigid so that when I cut it on the bandsaw, it doesn't flex and move around a lot. So I pull the rod out of the freezer here. And then we'll go over to the bandsaw and I'll show you what we're doing over there. So going into the shop now. So we're going to be cutting that polyurethane rod on the bandsaw. Here's my bandsaw. Here's my rod right here. And so I built this uh, sliding table for my bandsaw. So it keeps it real accurate there and I have a little jig set up uh, to be one inch thick. And so what I do is I take the rod here and I lay it on the table on the crosscut sled here and I hold it supported and then cut it into little wafers and I've done a few now and and the wafers they look like that once they're all done so now I'm gonna cut a bunch of these So once I get them all cut on the bandsaw, I'm putting them back in the freezer. So I'm going to have to drill them, drill the hole out in a little bit. So they're all going to live in the freezer there. Here's one more rod that I need to cut. Hey everybody, it's hot here. So, okay, so I finished cutting all of the um, the pieces on the bandsaw, and next I need to drill the hole through the center of each one. So I have my mill set up. Uh, with a centering hole set there. So I clamp it in with the vise here and I got the center, the hole set perfectly with the um, with the mill. And so hopefully as I go through it and I drill each hole, uh, they'll all be accurate and in the exact center. So it burns, burns the polyurethane, so you got to make that drill hole real quick, otherwise it'll make the hole too big.
All right, so I've got the beginnings of 20 mallets here. I've got the holes in them. Uh, next is the more labor intensive part. I put the screw through these and hold each one of these in the drill, in a hand drill, and then uh, sand the edges with my belt sander. So that's coming next. All right, hey everybody. So I've been working on the next step a little bit already, uh, and I was waiting for my phone to charge up so I can make more video. So I'm gonna kinda talk you through this next step before you actually see it, and then I'll kinda put my phone a little far away because there's a lot going on and you'll have a better idea of what's happening. So I'm gonna turn my phone here. So we've already made the hole in these, and then the next step is I've got a bolt. So I got this regular bolt here, and the bolt's a little wider than the hole. Um, and what I do is I hammer this bolt all the way through the hole, and because it's wider, it holds it tight and it won't slip. So I hammer that through, so let me do that real quick. So I've got this old uh, railroad rail, so I put this on this hole, which is a little smaller, and then I'm going to hammer that through. I'm going to kind of stop it and start it because I'm only one person here. But So I hammered that through right there. Seems a little blurry. There we go. Hammered that through. So there it is. And so now I'm going to put it here in my drill press, or in my uh, hand drill. So let me stop it. Get that in the hand drill there, so it's spinning it around, right? Then I have my belt sander here. What I'm going to do is I turn on the belt sander, and then I'm holding the drill at an angle against that with that on, and that gives me a good smooth uh, uh, curve that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and put the phone a little further away so you can kind of see me doing that process with a few of these.
So I'm starting to run out of light outside, so I switched to the uh, next part because I want to show you all that. And then I'm going to go back to finishing up uh, curving all those ends there. So let me show you what I did so far. I set up this little jig on the belt sander here, like so. What this will do is next I need to make a little... Um, you need to make it a little thinner in this area where the polyurethane is going to be held by the mallet. So it's kind of like a donut hole sort of shape. So anyway, this pushes against this and then this is going to be on and I'll be rotating this around and getting a nice little curve. So let me see if I can set this up so you can see what I mean. See how I did that there? Got that little inset. Let me make sure this is... Yeah, so it's a little thinner in there. It's basically kind of treating the uh, belt sander like it's a lathe. It's not 100% accurate, but it's, it's good enough for our needs. So I do that with all of them. I cut the, I cut the dowel rod in half on the bandsaw, and then I'm going to do this, and then I make a point here. So I'm going to make that point right now. that into a point and then all right so now I put a, a drill bit in here that's just a little smaller than this small diameter right here and I'm gonna just quickly hold each of these and bore out that hole that's already in there to make it bigger right now so uh, let me see how I can set that up on the camera yeah that should work so this is kind of a quick process um, I'll actually move this vise out of the way. Let me just get the vise off here. Or not, yeah. Kind of a down and dirty process. Um, mill's good. Turn it on. And I can just hold it with my hand. You just give it a good firm hold. And it feeds right up there. Clears that out, makes it a little bigger. So this, this dowel here that I cut, it's not totally square up here. So let me just square it off real quick on the belt sander. Doesn't have to be perfect. And now lastly, you fit, put that guy right on there. Hold that right in there, and then you're going to tap it in, just like so. And let me uh, set up the camera to do that tap. This is actually a little long. It's hitting the bottom there, so... Uh, I'm going to just sand it off of here. It's like a half inch too long. And so there's that one on there. Now I'm going to just trim trim the edge here on my bandsaw. I like to 
make my mallets 12 inches long. Um, it's a good, good distance. Works for me. Everybody has their preference. So there's that there, and I'm just gonna um, sand this top here flush, and then just break the edge over here on, with the uh, sander. And there you go, there's one practice mallet. So obviously here in a minute, you know, when I'm doing it in the more production style, I'll do everything at once there, and then everything at once here, uh, and you know, just kind of do one step at a time. So that's it though, hope that showed you something. Well, I got 10 pairs made today. Uh, was hoping to make 20 pairs, but it's a start and I'll finish them up tomorrow.